Hello, everybody. Hey, look, so these guys want attention. I mean, they're on their own time. It's Christmas time. They waste their own time. They can never waste mine. But you see at the bottom, maybe like two, three miles out, it's the only, at least every time I'm out here, right? It's Christmas morning, around 2.58 in the morning, and we got this guy right here. And I guess he may be waiting for another car, but I'll outweigh all of them. I'll, you know, this is nothing to me. So you see another car passing, and then he's still sitting there. And so basically what I do is I take control. I say, well, if I see somebody, then that means I'm just going to run you around the loops even more times. That's, that's kind of where I go. And I've been fortunate enough for where that works for me. And that's why I come out around here at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's because I see I control everything. You know, these you got to, like I said, you got to tax these guys. I spank them all the time. And then because, like I said, these guys will do, you know, wh whatever. You know, these guys will do uh, whatever they're told, and um, you got to, that means even with you. So I, I push them the way I want to, right? You know what I mean? You see his dumb ass? He, was going, he sat there. They'll waste their own time with me, guys. Like I said, these guys will waste their own time. Um, you know, I, and I, like I said, you know, they make it worse on each other because the way I look at it is, is if you guys out here tonight, you know, they don't want to be out here. You're holding yourself up. You can never hold me up because when I come out here at nighttime, I don't have anything to do. I don't, I'm not on a time limit. I'm never going to be in a time limit when I come out the house. I'm always going to have enough time to do exactly what I want to do, how I want to do it, how I want to get it done. And I'm always going to do that. So one thing I do, right, is, you know, they think they're going to have, and trust me, my parents live in the woods, so they were sitting here to try to wait for the next person to come through the woods. That doesn't matter. I can wait for five, ten people to come through the woods. We all know what. It's going to be in 10 to 15 minute intervals. So that means I have at least 10 to 15 minutes to leave here from each car because that's the, the time in which they're going to be behind. And it's Christmas. So what you saw on camera was somebody basically uh, being given orders to, to wait at the bottom of the hill, right? Now, mind you, I was sitting here searching my song. I wasn't really care, but I still don't like being bothered. And what I'm saying is I'm not going to be bothered, right? So anytime you see me come in my house, it's because no one saw me leave my house, meaning that where I was at, neighbors, I don't give a fuck. They can look out the window. I'm talking about there's nobody in my proximity. I don't leave my house if I'm being watched when I leave my house. I don't go and pull in my driveway if I'm being watched. You know what I mean? I stopped that shit a long time ago. And I keep telling you guys, you morons, and I'm not calling you guys morons, but some of you guys are. You guys let them push you around. You basically just walk outside and be like, oh, okay, they're going to watch me. Like, no, fuck that. You make it hard for niggas like me because I don't take that. I don't take that. I don't take none of this. It's not no, oh, let me just, it's not no let you do your job. No, your job is, when your job is trying to be around me. I don't give a fuck what the term harassment is or not. The point is, bitch, you're not going to be around me, and I can make sure of it. And so you see what I'm doing right here, guys? It's Christmas morning. I came out. Now, I was going to be nice, right? I came here. I wasn't really an asshole about what I wanted to get done here, right? I was modest about it. You know, I'm saying, you know, leaving, going about my day. But these motherfuckers want to be assholes. They, I told them don't come around me, and they can hear you. They want to have one little straggler come around. My parents are such bitches, man. These guys are such bitches. They want to talk so much shit. They act like nothing is going on. They act like they don't do nothing. But then they got to have somebody up their ass every five seconds. It's because they're evil and they're guilty. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tax them now. All right? You leave me the fuck alone. I was in a good mood. Now you got to pay for it. Now you got to deal with me. And I'm already outside. So it's not like you got to watch me come up my house. No, now you got to navigate me. So this is what I try to tell you guys. Make them pay for every little bit. Every bit. I make them pay for fucking looking at me crazy. Understand? There's not no just... You guys make this shit way easy for them. You pull out your little phones. You They, they want you... Like, see, this is the thing. As long as they know, like, you're upset and you're bothered, they don't mind you pulling out your phone. When I pull out my phone, they know I'm not upset or bothered. It's different. They know I'm coming after them. They know I'm about to chase them down. And they don't like that. So we, you know, we're different. I don't have those issues. I'm never going to have those issues. Okay? Because like I said, I control when I move. I control what's around me. 
I don't give a fuck about this world and how many motherfuckers they could. You see, have you seen a nigga come around me yet? Where, where's everyone else now? I put them on notice. Now this nigga, like I said, and it makes sense. They waste their own time because if you think you're waiting on me to move, I'm waiting on you. So if you're waiting on me, the longer you wait on me, we're waiting on you to move, sir or ma'am. So you're waiting on yourself is what I'm telling them. It's the most, it's the, the, the simplest way to battle this stupid shit is have them wait on themselves. I bet you one thing, they get tired because they don't have patience. These motherfuckers are not patient at all, okay? I wasn't patient. I got patience throughout this. So I can sit on that damn side of the road with my headlights on for 30 fucking minutes and let 30,000 cars pass me, right? And that'll be a waste. That means that it'll, that little trap means all the motherfuckers that they had that was supposed to watch me to the next, gone. They're in front of me now. All right? Like I said, guys, if they know that they, you're going to come out your house, get in your car, make a little videotape, and you know what I mean, from here and there, but you're pretty much going to go about your day buck without bucking against them, bro. You got This is not a go along to get along. You're not going to win. All you motherfuckers out here thinking that you can play the game. You can't play the game, motherfucker. You thought you was playing it. You thought you was playing the game. Look at you now. These motherfuckers are not playing the game. They don't. These motherfuckers are out the game. Okay, the game is playing them. We're the only motherfuckers that can have a choice to play the game or not. Everyone else is not playing the game. The game is playing them. All right, they are part of the game. I'm not playing no games. All right, I'm not playing no games. So for me, like I said, my night is already set up. So when I get back to my house, I'm going to be cool because I set myself up to have a good Christmas. I'm good. I'm out here tonight a little early than I wanted to because, like I said, I know it's Christmas time. So I know if I came out my house around 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, I probably wouldn't even seen this guy. But he is long gone. He's an afterthought, right? But I just wanted to make this video because I need to emphasize to you guys. Stop going along to get along. There's nothing it like, bro. It's over. Either you're going to fight or you're going to lay down. There is no in-between. There's not no, oh, let me be nice to these motherfuckers and talk to them. Fuck these people, son. This is not a nice, bad thing. These motherfuckers are not thinking about maybe be nice to you. Fuck them. I don't think about being nice to them ever. It's always on go. Let them say something to me I don't like. Let them try slick to me. Let them get too close to me. They will know about it. Police, commissioner, judge, regular motherfucker. I don't give a fuck who you are. Your title means nothing to me, all right? Authority, who? All right, I don't follow no authority in the world. Only I keep myself out of jail. That's what I do. Fuck these laws, fuck this bullshit. I keep myself out of jail, all right? And they keep themselves out of getting fucked up because they don't do what half the shit that they do now because they know I take them seriously. So like I said, guys, I wanted to come on here. That was a great example for me to come in and say, tighten the fuck up. You guys are making my job hard. Because you guys are out here laying down. These motherfuckers right here follow you out your house and you just laughing at them. Fuck these motherfuckers. These niggas are not funny. These niggas are clowns. Ain't shit funny about these motherfuckers. You know how many days I feel like smacking the fuck out of people? And I actually can? You know what I mean? I, I'm at a stage now where we're not worried about getting away with this. It's not, we're not worried about getting away from these motherfuckers. I will shoot this. I'll shoot these motherfuckers. I'm going to go about my business, bro. That's the power I have, all right? So every time about power, I don't see it because I got the power the way I look at it. Every day I walk in my house, I make the decision where I want to blow my enemy's head off or not. That's power. It's called self-control. No one's stopping me. And no one can damn sure guess when I'm going to do it, if I'm going to do it. So I don't want to hear about this whole control shit, all right? You either a witness or a victim in my book. Pick a side. Pick a side. Pick a side. Now, we haven't, they got cars coming down there, but like I said, they're going to wait. They, they, that little nigga in the Ford Fusion, fuck up, you, you can thank him. And that's another thing I do. Put it on them, right? Because like I said, you got to talk. These people are children. Put it on them. So and when they get all upset because they got to keep on driving back and forth, had your dumb ass friend in the Ford Fusion not came around me or went about his business, you guys wouldn't have to be called out to out your sleep and out your slumber with your family tonight. And and had to deal with me. My parents are up right now. They hear they can hear what I'm saying. Fuck them. Fuck about them.